Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.2. Now this works for the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4 GSM models only, iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation, as well as the 1st generation iPad. Now this does not work for the iPad 2 or the Verizon iPhone on iOS 4.2.7. So right now there is no jailbreak for either the Verizon iPhone or the iPad 2. So to start off, this is Red Snow, and if you guys need further instructions after watching this video then you can check the link down below because it will direct you to uh, my website that has all of the written instructions as well as the download links for the newest version of Red Snow. So to start off you just open up Red Snow and this does work for both Mac and PC users and once you have Red Snow opened up simply browse for your firmware and again we are doing this on iOS 4.3.2 so uh, once you have that firmware selected then you just hit OK and it will process the firmware and then it will begin to patch it once you hit next now once it is at this screen all you want to check off is install Cydia because I know some users have tried to actually allow for boot animation which is the third option and uh, if you do that when you're first jailbreaking then you could possibly run into some complications so just run Red Snow afterwards with just that option checked if you want boot animations if you don't want them then just be sure to have install Cydia checked and make sure that your iDevice of course is plugged in now right now my iPhone 4 is in recovery mode because I did get a 1013 error in iTunes and I could not exit it even with Tiny Umbrella and the exit recovery mode feature. So if you do get some type of 1013 or 1015 error, then you can actually use Red Snow to kick it out of recovery mode. So once you have uh, install Cydia checked, just be sure to hit next and it's telling you to have your device both plugged in and powered off and then it's going to go into the steps of entering DFU mode after you hit next. We're just going to do this ahead of time so we don't have to actually do those steps. What you're going to do is hold down both of the home and power button and you're going to do this for a total of 10 seconds. I'm actually going to just set the camera down and show you guys right here. So uh, again, you're holding down both the home and power button for 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. Now you're going to want to hold it for around 15 to 20 seconds. And once that time is up, you can go ahead and hit next inside of Red Snow. And then it will just bypass that instruction screen and it will prepare to actually jailbreak your device. Alright, so there it is, and it is downloading the jailbreak data on my iPhone 4. And there we see the Lime Rain exploit. And it is finished on the computer. It says done. So at this point, it's okay to click finish because the rest of the process will take place on your iDevice. Alright, so now it's just installing everything, and I will be back once this process has finished, and once it starts to boot back up. Alright, so now I am back, and I actually did get a pinwheel when Red Snow was installing all of the components. So what I mean by that is you get this little tiny spinning wheel that's right about there, and it is over that running pineapple logo. And uh, if you do get that, simply rerun Red Snow and just recheck off Install Cydia, set it into DFU mode, and then just continue to hit Next until it actually starts to jailbreak your iDevice, and that should fix it. Alright, so after that, you're device should boot up and you can just load up Cydia and from there you are jailbroken. So unfortunately it does not work for the iPhone 4 at the moment. They just updated their blog post. So uh, I will put an annotation when this is working for iPhone 4 users because again as you can see they crossed out iPhone 4 and put iPhone 4 users please wait for a pending fix. 
So as of now, this does not work for the iPhone 4, but as soon as you see an annotation there, that means it does work for the iPhone 4, and these steps should work. So if you guys like this video, be sure to let me know what you think down below in the comment section, and be sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated when I release more great videos. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.